that in a lot of states, Democratic governors especially, are offering one-time cash payments to their constituents just months before an election. That's the definition of good politics. States were really worried that the coronavirus pandemic uh, would lead to a recession that would be even worse than what we saw a decade ago. But that's not what happened. The economy bounced back so fast that tax revenues actually ballooned. And now states have more money in the bank than they've ever had before. A lot of states are considering ways to give that money back to residents and to their constituents. And that's really good for governors, especially those who are up for re-election this year. In Maine, a budget proposal introduced by Governor Janet Mills would include $500 checks to about 800,000 eligible residents. Kansas Governor Laura Kelly has proposed a one-time $250 tax rebate to anybody who filed a tax return last year. Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz recommended a one-time cash payment of $350. Then he got his budget update and he upped that to $500 per person around the state. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer said that a $5 billion surplus in a state insurance fund is gonna to go to fund $400 rebates to anybody who owns a vehicle in Michigan. In New Mexico, Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham has pushed for a statewide cut in gross receipts taxes. Connecticut Governor Ned Lamont has proposed cutting property taxes. It's not just Democratic governors who are proposing giving some of the money back. Uh, in Iowa, Governor Kim Reynolds has signed a law lowering her state's income tax rate. In Mississippi, Governor Tate Reeves has pushed a bill to eliminate the income tax altogether. Underscoring the political fight that's really going on right now is something that's happening in Wisconsin. Governor Tony Evers offered $150 checks to residents across the state. The Wisconsin State Senate, which is controlled by Republicans, was called into special session to consider Evers' proposal. Instead, they killed it. They gaveled out of that special session in less than a minute. Some experts say that issuing a tax cut may have some long-term consequences here because the tax cut is something that's ongoing. We all pay our taxes in every given year. Offering a one-time payment is a more targeted approach that can come when a state's budget is doing well, and then people don't have to raise taxes again when the good times eventually end. A lot of these governors face really difficult re-election campaigns this year. It's gonna be a tough year for Democrats anyway, and a lot of these governors only narrowly won their races in 2018. Offering cash to their voters is a great way uh, to win people over, especially when those voters are about to go to the polls.